Matisse's Magical Trail by Tim Hopgood and Sam Borton For Matisse, the world outside his shell was a big, scary place. Much of his time was spent avoiding getting under people's feet. But at night, when the streets were empty, Matisse did what he loved most. He drew. His drawings were like tiny works of art. It was a pity then that no one ever noticed them. One moonlit night, Matisse found himself in a quiet spot in the heart of the city. It was a perfect place for drawing. Perfect, at least until morning. Matisse hid in his shell. He wondered if anyone here might notice his drawings. A small hand picked up the pebble with a sun on it. Then the small hand made the sun smile. Hello, I'm Leo, said the boy. And Matisse smiled back. Leo showed Matisse's drawings to his friends. They wanted to know where they had come from. But Matisse was feeling shy. He was nowhere to be seen. I have a plan, announced Leo. The friends found more pebbles for Matisse to draw on. And not just pebbles. Later, when everyone had disappeared, Matisse started to draw. By morning, he had created a trail. A very artistic trail. Mrs Grey came over to see what everyone was looking at. It was Leo who pointed to Matisse on the school wall. Mrs Grey was astonished, but seeing Matisse's drawings had given her an idea. A very artistic idea. Matisse was filled with joy as the children filled the wall with colour. And the children didn't stop there. Wow! The school was a magical sight. Everyone who saw it couldn't help but stop and smile. And who would have believed that it all started with one tiny snail? That night, realising that the world is full of walls that could all be made beautiful, Matisse decided it was time to move on. But not before doing one last drawing especially for Leo and his friends. I wonder where Matisse is heading next. If you're lucky, you never know, you might spot him on a wall near you.